Imagine a shark three times the size of a great white ruling the oceans with unparalleled might. Welcome to the world of the Megalodon. What if I told you that once upon a prehistoric time, our oceans were home to a shark of such colossal proportions that it would make the great white look like a goldfish in comparison? Yes, you heard that right. We're talking about the Megalodon, an awe-inspiring beast that made the seas its kingdom millions of years ago. With a name that translates to Big Tooth, the Megalodon was an underwater titan, a marine monster that could reach lengths of up to 60 feet. That's as long as a school bus, folks. To put it in perspective, our modern terror of the seas, the great white shark, maxes out at around 20 feet. Its size was not the only thing that set the Megalodon apart. Its teeth were a sight to behold, each one measuring up to 7 inches long. That's nearly three times the size of a great white's tooth. The Megalodon roamed the oceans during the Cenozoic era, from around 23 to 2.6 million years ago. This was a time when the earth was dominated by mammals, and the seas were a dangerous place to be. In these ancient waters, the Megalodon was king. Its reign was uncontested, its presence undeniable. The Megalodon was a true giant of the ocean, a creature so massive that it's hard to wrap our heads around it. But it was also a predator, a hunter of unparalleled skill and ferocity. It wasn't just big, it was smart, and it used its size and intelligence to rule the seas with an iron fin. So, the next time you find yourself marveling at the size and power of the Great White, remember that there was once a creature that made it look like a minnow. The Megalodon was not just any shark, it was a marine titan, the undisputed ruler of its time. The Megalodon didn't reach its gargantuan size eating small fish, so what did this giant predator feast on? Let's dive into the diet of this prehistoric shark, the Megalodon, to get a taste of its culinary preferences. The Megalodon was an apex predator, meaning it was at the very top of the food chain. It had to consume a vast amount of food to sustain its massive size and evidence suggests it had a liking for large marine mammals. Its menu was far from vegetarian, including creatures like whales and dolphins. How do we know this? Well, scientists have found fossilized whale bones with distinctive bite marks that match the size and shape of megalodon teeth. These bite marks suggest a powerful predator, one capable of biting through solid bone. Imagine the sheer force required to do that. But the megalodon didn't just rely on brute force, it was also a smart hunter. Some scientists believe that the megalodon used sophisticated hunting strategies. For instance, it might have attacked from below, aiming for the belly of its prey. This strategy is known as the bite and wait tactic, where the megalodon would bite its prey, then back off and wait for the injured creature to weaken before going in for the kill. Another strategy could have been ambushing prey near the surface while it remained hidden in the murky depths. The element of surprise would have given the megalodon an advantage over its prey, allowing it to strike before the prey had a chance to react or escape. These hunting strategies, combined with its immense size and power, made the Megalodon a formidable predator. It was capable of taking down even the largest and strongest marine creatures of its time. So, the Megalodon was a formidable hunter, capable of taking down the largest prey in the ocean. This ancient shark truly was a terror of the seas, and its diet gives us a fascinating insight into its life and habits. The Megalodon's most famous features are its massive, terrifying teeth. Picture this, a mouthful of sharp serrated teeth, each one the size of a human hand. That's right, the largest teeth of a megalodon could reach up to 7 inches in length. But these weren't just any ordinary teeth. They were built for the ultimate predatory performance. The megalodon's teeth were not only large, but also conical and serrated. This design was perfect for catching and slicing through the flesh of large prey. Imagine the force of a bite delivered by a jaw packed with 50 of these monstrosities. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Now let's talk about numbers. A megalodon had about five rows of teeth in its mouth at any given time, with each row containing approximately 46 teeth. That's over 200 teeth ready to engage in a deadly attack, but that's not all. Over its lifetime, a megalodon would have grown and shed thousands of teeth. That's a lot of dental upkeep. These teeth weren't just tools for hunting and eating though. They were also crucial to the megalodon's survival. The loss of even one tooth could mean the difference between life and death in the harsh and competitive prehistoric ocean. Fortunately for us, these fearsome teeth have also served as valuable clues to the life and times of the megalodon. Fossilized megalodon teeth have been found all over the world, from the depths of the ocean to the tops of mountains. 
These fossils have given scientists vital insights into the size, diet, and even the behavior of this extinct predator. Each tooth tells a story, a story of a time when the Megalodon was the unrivaled ruler of the seas, a time when every ripple in the water could signal the arrival of the largest predator the world has ever known. With teeth up to seven inches long, the Megalodon's smile was truly something to behold. The Megalodon was an apex predator, so what could have possibly led to its extinction? This is a question that has puzzled scientists for years, and a variety of theories have been proposed. One of the most widely accepted theories is that changes in the Earth's climate and shifting ocean currents led to a significant drop in the ocean's temperature. Megalodons, like many sharks, thrived in warmer waters. As the oceans cooled, these giant creatures likely found it increasingly difficult to survive. Additionally, these climatic changes could have drastically affected the Megalodon's primary food sources, leading to a severe decrease in their population. Another theory suggests that competition with other predators played a significant role in the Megalodon's downfall. The emergence of new and efficient hunters, such as the great white shark and killer whales, could have put the Megalodon under immense pressure. These competitors not only contested for the same food sources, but were also more adaptable to the changing oceanic conditions. Then there's the theory of possible diseases. Though there's less concrete evidence to support this, some scientists speculate that a disease or parasite could have wiped out the megalodon. After all, even the most formidable predators aren't immune to the ravages of illness. Of course, it's also possible that a combination of these factors led to the megalodon's extinction. A changing climate could have reduced their food sources, increased competition could have made survival even harder, and a devastating disease could have delivered the final blow. While each theory has its supporting evidence, no single explanation has been definitively proven. The mystery of the Megalodon's extinction is still a hot topic of debate among scientists and researchers today. While the exact cause of the Megalodon's extinction remains a mystery, one thing is clear. The oceans haven't been the same without them. They were creatures of a scale and power that we can barely comprehend, and their absence has left an indelible mark on the history of our planet. From movies to video games, the Megalodon has captured our imaginations. This colossal prehistoric shark, with its formidable size and jaw-dropping power, has been a source of fascination and fear for many. Its portrayal in popular culture has only fueled this intrigue, making it an icon of terror and awe. A notable example is the Hollywood blockbuster, The Meg, where the Megalodon is depicted as a monstrous beast lurking in the depths of the ocean, a scenario that has thrilled audiences worldwide. On the smaller screen, the Megalodon has also made appearances in TV shows like Megalodon, The Monster Shark Lives, a mockumentary that sparked widespread debate about the possible existence of this ancient predator in the modern world. But it's not just the silver screen that's been graced by the Megalodon. In the realm of video games, this prehistoric shark has been a formidable foe for players. Games like Sea of Thieves and Depth feature the Megalodon as a powerful adversary showcasing its might and ferocity in an interactive and often adrenaline-fueled setting. These portrayals, while thrilling, have also shaped the public's perception of the Megalodon. Many view it as a monstrous beast, a symbol of the terrifying unknown that lurks beneath the ocean's surface. However, it's important to remember that these depictions are often exaggerated for dramatic effect. The real Megalodon, while undoubtedly impressive, was a creature of its time, adapted to its prehistoric environment and playing its part in the Earth's natural history. So whether you're watching a movie, playing a video game or simply indulging in a bit of prehistoric shark trivia, remember the Megalodon for what it truly was, an incredible testament to the diversity and power of nature, a creature that, despite its extinction, continues to captivate us with its sheer magnitude and mystery. While the Megalodon may be extinct, its legacy continues to live on in our culture and our minds.